Okay, for this example, we want to see our sales based on the time frame. So we want to see maybe our sales in the past week or our sales in the past quarter. So first off, let's go to the control panel. We want to create a view of our invoicing table. Let's give it a name. We'll call it sales overview. Okay. To keep things simple, we're just going to select two fields. Invoice total, which is just shows how many sales received for that day. So total and payment date. Set the formatting for total. And let's see what we've made so far. A view that shows our sales, total sales for the corresponding day. So now it's time to create our queries. We'll go back to our control panel and the query manager and create query. We're going to set our selection to the view we just made. And we're going to call, give this query a name. We'll call it today. Next tab. Now for this, all we have to do is set the condition. We want all the records, I'm sorry, all the sales that we received today. So we want payment date that's equal to today. What's convenient for us is that today is actually a method we have in the database. So we make sure we want to select this option right here is a method and click add and our condition is set. We save it, go back to the portal and see what we've had so far. Now we have a today's tab and it shows all our payments for today. Now let's create some more queries. How about for the past month? So, control panel, query manager tab, we'll create, based on this selection, sales overview, uh, we'll call this query this month. Hit next. Now we're going to have two conditions for this query. Uh, payment date greater than starting which is actually, once again, another method we have. So we want to set a starting date and an ending date. So less than, our second condition is payment date is less than our ending date. They're both methods and you can see the code yourself um, in the database attached. So what this does is it sets a starting and ending date um, for the past month, or for the current month, actually. So if we save it, go back to the portal, and our overview, we can see for, for this month tab, we'll have all, all the records for the current date, all the sales. And just for good measure, let, let's create some queries for uh, based on quarterly, uh, the quarters of the past year. So go back to the Create tab, the selection. Let's go back as far as, let's see, quarter three, 2006. So just like the previous example, we're going to set two conditions, a starting and the end date. First condition, greater than a certain date. See, 2006, quarter three was 2006. This, around this time, this is not a method, this is an actual hard coded date. And we'll set our less than value. At the end of September. And save that. So now we have a query for quarter 306. Let's see that right now. There we go. Let's go back to the control panel and create more queries um, based on the quarter system. So we'll go to create. For good measure, we'll just go to quarter 406. 
and set our conditions again. So right now, I'm pretty much this is really the repetitive part um, of what you've seen so far. I'm just creating queries um, based on starting and ending conditions. And I'm going to go from quarter three to quarter quarter two, 2007. So full years uh, full of information. So I'll keep creating. Quarter 1, 2007. Let's see, quarter 1 is greater than January 1st, 07. I'll make sure you have the correct formatting. In the framework, we have year, then month, then day. And if you're wondering, for our methods also, they return to the dates in this in this format as well. And one more query for quarter two. Oh, 2007. And our last condition. So let's go back to the portal and see what we've made. We have a sales overview. It shows today, this month, and sales based on quarters. Quarter 306, quarter 406, quarter 107, and quarter 207. There we go. For good measure, let's disable the All Records tab. Go back and see what we have.